React Native Community CLI Installation Setup for Windows Operating System. Step 1. Open React Native.dev page. Click on Get Started button. To use React Native without a framework, click on Get Started without a framework. To set up environment for React Native, click on Set up your environment. Right now, we are setting environment for Windows operating system with targeted Android operating system. iOS is only supported on macOS. We are using Chocolatey for installing required software. To install Chocolatey, go to official Chocolatey docs. Copy the Chocolatey PowerShell installation command, then run the command inside PowerShell with administrator permission. Then instead of directly installing latest Node.js from Chocolatey, we are using NVM. Also, we are installing OpenJDK 17, Android Studio and VS Code. Installation will take some time to complete. Next step is to install the Node.js latest version on Windows using NVM. To install Open PowerShell and run command NVM install latest, this will install the latest Node version. Then run NVM use latest using this command. Now we can use the latest Node version. To check the installed Node.js version run Node-v command. Now we need to set up the Android home variable value with SDK path. To set the SDK path, open Android Studio. If Android Studio is freshly installed in your Windows, then accept both the license. And this will take some time to complete. After finishing download, Click on Finish button then click on More Actions, select SDK Manager. Copy the SDK path from Android SDK location. Type ENV on search bar of taskbar, then click on Edit System Environment Variable for your account, then click on Environment Variables. Click new button below the user variable, then paste the copied SDK path inside variable value and the copy paste the variable name Android home, then click OK. Now we need to set the platform tools path inside user variable path. To get the platform tools path, first open the SDK location on File Explorer and go inside Platform Tools folder and copy the path and add the path value inside the user variable. Follow the same step to set the path for emulator and click on OK for both Environment Variable and System Properties tab to save the changes. To check if the environment setup is properly done or not, copy the command get child item path env and paste inside the PowerShell. If you find the Android home path inside it, then environment setup is done properly.
Now we can create React Native application. First, create a project folder inside C drive and open folder with VS Code. Now copy the creating React Native app command and open VS Code and open new terminal inside VS Code and run the command. If we get the execution policy error, we can set the execution policy to remote signed by opening the PowerShell as admin and running command showed in the video. Now restart the VS Code. Then again run the React Native installation command. Type Y. Now you see the folder created on left side of screen. Change the directory to application. Then run npm run android command to start the React Native app on Android device or emulator. This command will automatically boot up the Android device or emulator on your machine. Now, if you get the emulator error, rerun same command and this time application will be run successfully inside emulator or device. If you stuck at any point in this video, please let me know with your comments and also check out the blog link inside video description. Thank you.